just getting home. Tina done fell off the deck. It stormed over here. I ain't know nothing about that. Oh my God. No. Damn it. What's up, YouTube? What's up? Uh, shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to everyone visiting my channel. Uh, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you today. Um, so yesterday I came home from being um, at my mom's house for like majority of the day, and they were they weren't calling for any rain, but apparently there was there was like a quick storm, and it knocked my green onion plant named Tina off of my deck, and so now I'm working on saving her. Um, and fixing up the little uh it's not a pot that i put it in it's i repurposed some plastic so i'm just going to fix that up um instead of using another plastic jug i have other plastic jugs but i'm going to use them for other plants um so yeah we're going to dock the tuna up today and see how it goes all right okay so first let's assess the damage here uh tina got bent right here the stalk right here bent um probably happened when it hit the ground so I'm gonna end up cutting this right here off and we're just gonna go ahead and use that and let this stalk uh, regrow. Um, but this new stalk here is doing good. Uh, this right here is one of the original stalks here and you see how long it is. So the good thing is that the roots are pretty deep. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard for you to see on here, but you can kind of look through there some. You can see like some of the roots are down here. Um, any place you see like the white on here, um, before the dirt shifted, it was easier to see the roots like through the outside of the plastic container But her roots are nice and deep and developed. So that's the reason why she actually didn't fall out whenever the, uh, the Container fell it was just mainly dirt and the newbie right here So we're gonna plant this one replant this one. You know what you see um, Not many roots on it, but that's okay. We're gonna make sure that uh, We get this one back in there good and get that grow going. So the only damage on the container uh, if you look here, um, the sides right here are, are broke a little bit whenever they fell down. They were cut to maybe about right here. And that was just to make room for this, uh, the top part to sit in there comfortably. Uh, and sit in there nice, nice and snug. So I'm just going to end up just honestly just taping this part up here. Um, and then I think on this side too, it got cracked a little bit more than I wanted. So I'm just going to tape that up as well. Again. I could use a whole new container, but you know, the purpose of, or part of the reason I'm just want to fix it is because I don't want to just throw this plastic away. Um, definitely want to reuse it and salvage it if we, if we can. So I'm just going to grab some tape and let's see here. So right here, I'm just going to put a little band aid on it. I guess I don't need that big of a piece. Okay, and I'm gonna do one more. Still is a little more than I want. Let's see right here, and let's get about right there. Okay, so that's that side, and just need to do a little bit of this side right here. Sorry, y'all can't see my face, but if I back it out anymore, you're not gonna be really see. I'm not really gonna be able to see what I'm doing here. And again, I apologize for any background noise that you might hear that might be making the audio uh, a little bit low or a little hard to hear. All right, I'm just gonna. We got dented inside too, so I'm gonna push these dents out down here. Ugh, I feel so bad. Like I, I really, I left it. I left Tina outside because. I really did look at the weather and they weren't really calling for any rain or storms or anything. So I was kind of shocked to come home and find water all on the ground, especially because I was in Raleigh um, and I was only like 20 minutes away on the other side of Raleigh and South Raleigh. And wow. All right, so it fits nice. It fits in here really good again. All right, so we're good to go there. Nice and sturdy. Um, but I didn't explain my setup here on another, video, on another video. I'll make another one of these so you can see. But really, I just this was a one gallon water container and it was obviously like kind of this shape. Um, so I cut it, 
and whatever. I tried to stick this down in here. It just didn't stick uh, the way I wanted to or fit down here the way I wanted to because um, all the sides were still even. So that's why I cut the sides here um, on all four corners just to allow it to uh, sit down in here. Um, I left the top on so uh, no dirt comes out as far as the drainage and I ended up just drilling holes on the bottom here. I'll take it out. I ended up just drilling holes on the bottom here uh, for any drainage and I put a little hole right here as well. I wasn't sure how well these little holes here would do, but they do just fine. All right, so a lot of dirt came out and I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that dirt. I have other, some other containers that I started like little seedlings out of that I still have good fertilized dirt in um, or good potting mix, I'll say, um, or planting mix. So I'm gonna use that to, um, to fill up the dirt in here. Just had a alert pop up. I should have put my phone on. Uh, do not stir. All right. So let's just. I'm gonna pack some of the dirt around there now before I add the rest of the dirt. And yes, I'm going to use my hands. I need to cut my fingernails anyway, so we'll be all right. Actually, this one should go over here just to give it a little more space. It doesn't need that far, get the roots buried. Okay. Let's see if I can change the view on this for you guys. Okay, so I was gonna keep potting it. I just wanted to change the camera angle so you can see uh, a little bit of what I'm doing. <clears throat> gonna add this dirt or this soil this mix that in there nice okay oh press it down a little more than I wanted to So it's fitting in here and nice and neat. Wanna, uh, make sure we've got good support here. Okay. All right. Looks good again. Um, so I guess next we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna get some scissors and go ahead and cut this stalk off. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like in a plastic bag in the refrigerator. So we can use this next time we cook and um, add some water to her and we should be all good to go. Okay, so I got my scissors here. We're just gonna cut off. I'm gonna cut just right where the bend is. So about right there. Okay. <clears throat> then we're gonna use this next time we cook. And we're gonna start uh, to pay attention and monitor uh, the growth of this sock right here that I had cut. But overall, everything looks good. Um, I'm gonna add some water to it. I'm also gonna redo my little watering bottle um, because the water comes out kind of like bigger than I want. I'm gonna give her some nice water. These green onions are heavy feeders, um, so they like a lot of water, like a whole, like a, like a whole lot of sunlight. And that's the reason why I definitely wanted um, a container that had drainage on it or some good drainage, just so I know I can add as much water as I want and she'll never be overwatered. So that is her. And matter of fact, I'm gonna add a little bit more water until I start seeing a drip on the bottom. Let's see here, still not seeing any drippage just yet. 
but it should be there um, like in another minute, maybe 30 seconds after it's had time to go through the soil. And there we have the drainage right there. So all the additional runoff is starting to drip out. To make sure that our soil is not overwatered, but make sure we do have plenty of water in there. All right, that's it. Until next time, um, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for the views. Thank you for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, please like and share if you like my content. Um, and I will not make this mistake with Tina again. Uh, she doesn't normally stay in the house all the time, but when I know the weather is um, going to be, you know, it's going to be raining or storming, um, I definitely bring her in. So I'll just make sure from now on if I leave the house. I will definitely have her inside.